When we started this, um, it was uh, two and a half years ago, and uh, we were just building our systems and that kind of stuff out. We were just kind of getting up and running. And Kathy came with the very first workshop we ever had at Sunmark, right? Uh -huh. And you guys all know what Sunmark is, so, right? Um, so we had it over Sunmark, and uh, we, I was personally coaching students back then. And so Kathy and I started coaching right away, right? We started coaching her business, and um, let's jump right in, okay? <laughs> and we, we uh, showed up for a call, or you, you were a couple calls, and you sort of disappeared for a couple months maybe or so. Mm -hmm. And you kind of came back, and we started talking on the call. I noticed something was different about Kathy. So what I want to tell you about is that life still goes on, and you still get hit. And this woman is my hero. So, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> so I want you to tell what, what happened. You got started in real estate investing. You, you already had some rentals. You had a couple rentals, and you kind of wanted to start growing that business, and you wanted to leave your job, right? Mm -hmm. You wanted to retire from your job and be done with it, but you had to have income for that but you got hit pretty hard along the way, but you persevered through it, and that's why she's my hero. So I want you to tell your story to the folks. So I joined Vester Pro in October of 2016, and then uh, in January, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, so, Went through chemo and the whole Went nine. through chemo and everything. Uh, at the same time that I was diagnosed, my sister was also was also diagnosed, and uh, she didn't make it. So, got through chemo, got through everything. Uh, I already had offers on houses. When I found out, they had already accepted them. So in that January, we also closed on two houses uh, and had to start renovations on those and keep going because life does happen. Yeah, but she, she showed up for calls and you, can I show you, you're going through chemo and you, you lost the hair and all the stuff mm -hmm. that went with it. And she said, that's why I said, you, are you okay? And she said, well, let me tell you. And she started telling me, I said, what? I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed with it, with what was going on. But, but she persevered through this and kept buying her house. She says, let's get back at the houses. And I'm like, oh, you're a beast, baby. <laughs> you are a beast. I said, you're not, I said people that cry because they stub their nail, they stub their toe when they walk into a house. I said, you, you have something major happen. I'll hold up a little bit. Okay. So you started, on, started in and you continued on. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell the folks, so you've been with us now for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, tell us where, so you start out with a couple of rent. Where are you at now with total, total properties that you have? Total properties are 13. Uh, I have. How about that. <laughs> I have nine rental units or nine properties with 11 units, and you then. You know what your monthly income from those is? That. Uh, Not the positive, just like the, what's what are your rents you pull in? You must pull in. Uh, gross rent is 10,400. A month. A month. Okay. And uh, <laughs> then uh, I have four houses that are in some stage of either renovation. I have two that are on the market uh, right now. One is going on as we speak. The other, uh, the other one has been on the market. We had some problems with the, uh, the inspections and the buyer backed out, so that is... You had problems? That's never happened to me ever. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say it isn't so. <laughs> but, uh, and then we have two that we're in the process of renovating. Did you find that valuable in coaching? I know when we, when we talk about things, sometimes if you're having problems, you say, oh yeah, we went through that. It's kind of mm -hmm. nice to have someone else go, oh yeah, that's nothing, right? <laughs> There's a couple things. I mean, one is to know that somebody else went through it, they got through it, they have, because they've been through it, they have ideas of what you can do to resolve it. And the other thing is, you don't know what you don't know. Uh, I didn't realize that I could ask for extensions on private loans. And Glenn's like, well, let's break this down. And, and you know, the first thing you can do is ask for an extension. And you know, in my head, I said I was doing a six month loan and that's what I was gonna do. And I, I was panicking because I couldn't <laughs> I pay that. it back yeah. in six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I said, well, no big deal. <laughs> No big deal. <laughs> so, and I asked, and it wasn't a big deal, but then, you know, you yeah. just don't know what you don't know, and it's, it's great to have somebody coaching you that's been through it and that does have other ideas that maybe you just can't 
see because you haven't had the experience yet. You think working with us long term has, has helped you grow your business faster than you would have alone? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. What do you think you'll make on the flips coming up? What do you think you're going to profit on these? Uh, the ones coming up. Oh, and I forgot the one we sold. We, we, oh, yes. We sold one. We made 58905 How about that? So, Is that great? How about that? Um, and then uh, the, the one house that I'm selling now, we've had a lot of issues with. So yeah. I'll be happy if I walk out of there with 10000 <laughs> Yeah. Not a bad but, day, though, right? It's a, We'll teach you tomorrow about how we buy them right so that even if you have hits and hiccups, you can still walk out of there unscathed and put a few bucks in your pocket. So. And uh, I have one that we're doing in Albany. I should probably make high 40s on that one. Uh, there's another one that I bought. It's, it was a trailer and a two family on six acres. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've done a sub subdivision on that one. The trailer, I paid 56 for the property. I've got about 15 into the trailer. I haven't started the house yet. The house is a two family. I'll keep that for myself to rent out. But the trailer is going on the market today for 84 or five. Nice, so. nice. So about a year ago, you retired? Is that, did you? November. You, November, so this past, no yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. This past November, you were able to retire. Tell us about that. So. Yeah, I was able to retire from my state job. My goal was to do it as soon as, as, soon as I turned 55. I wasn't able to do that uh, right at 55. It took me an extra six months. But, yeah. uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I had health insurance. Do you feel insurance. bad for her? Extra six months. <laughs> she missed her goal, so yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it, I wouldn't have been able to do that without the rental incomes. Yeah. So. so here's the best part. So when we first talked this morning, we talked about um, how we're growing our, growing our people from within. We want to grow our coaches and our trainers and speakers, all that stuff from within. So we'd like people to come up through the ranks, so to speak, have success with us, experience what we do, and be part of us. So I'm happy to announce that, uh, effective about a month or so ago, Kathy is one of our coaches, our real estate investment coaches here. So she's part of our team now, so it's awesome. So. Hey, thank you for being here today and being so honest with us and being so open. We appreciate it. You're awesome. Thank you very much, Kat. Thank you.